Hey you okay sir, welcome back to the Dungeons and Dragons update. Well, let us start the fourth and final week to wrap up this update. You may have defeated my dragon, but I'll kill you all before this game is over. Not if heart disease beats you to it. My doctor is generally surprised I'm still alive. Oh well, while you set up the next part of the adventure, I'm going to eat more chili straight from the can. Wash it down with a nice tall glass of full fat cream. Yeah, I'm definitely going to live forever. A new land has just arrived. Toxic Underland. Daddy, enough is enough. How could you be so cruel to your own family? Lower sweetie, what's your most common memory of me from when you were growing up? You not being around? And if you were, it was usually to sleep with my au pair. Exactly. This cruelty isn't anything new. You should be used to it by now. Nobody gets used to it, man. Evil Wizard Carter is back again for the fourth time. Complete one order from the Koag School of Magic. Chris asks the party if he can play. After. Yep. As a holy knight, I have to pick a deity to follow. Which one did you decide to serve? The Flying Spaghetti Monster. It combines two of my favorite things, spaghetti and weird internet things. I was considering Slender Man, but he's chaotic evil. Plus, I'm too scared to even pretend to follow that guy. Did anyone ever watch the Slender Man movie? I actually decided to watch it in theater? Boy, that was a mistake. And not because it was super scary, because it was really, really bad. Let me go back to the main quest line. And of course, they're back again. Defeat him so we can toast in your name with these fine goblets and get your family enchanted shield too. Great. And let me just go with Chris. Here you go. They're shiny. There we go. Oh, never mind. Well, what do we have today? Oh man, why it gotta be eight hours? So I will look at the bubbles in just a second, but we've got Wizard Carter for 270. A lot of premium stuff if you want to go that route. There's Holy Knight Cleveland. Trolls Cauldron, which drops two cauldrons. Wizard's Tower, which drops two spatulas. Dark Swamp, which drops two red dice. And then Spell Shop, which drops two spatulas. So there's going to be a lot of spatulas we have to get. Let me just check. What do I need? I need two of these things. What are these things? Evil Wizard Carter or Troll Mort. I don't think Troll Mort's here yet. No, he's not here yet. Lois, I think we need another member to stop Carter. That's been your only suggestion. Why do you think doing the same thing over and over again is going to work? Well, I mean, they made three Hangover movies and they were all the same. People seem to like those. Well, the first one anyway. They have three of them? Really? I know they have a couple. I didn't know they made a third one. Am I right? I know what a party needs. A holy knight. What? But I'm a paladin. They are holy knights. Joe, when we were in the last dungeon, he said fire to a bunch of sleeping goblins. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I know I'm supposed to be lawfully good, but I just can't help myself sometimes. I'm a chaotic little stinker. So I assume the sleeping goblins were good then. Because when I think of goblins, I think of them being bad. Collect four eight-sided dice, place the troll's cauldron, sorcerer Stewie waste time on his return, or his turn. Still don't see the uh, troll more, I was going to say troll goblins. I'm sure they pop up. So, what do I have to get? So I have to get 13 blessings from troll Mort, 15 of the cauldrons, troll's cauldrons, rare. Troll Mort. And you're not here either. Everybody's so slow. They just know they're going to die. Uh, we got the spatulas. So we're going to need 19 of them, but remember there are two crafter buildings that can actually drop them. And then there's also a sorcerer Stewie, Rogue Brian, Druid Meg, Barbarian Peter. And then those are the craftables we saw. And we're looking at. I've had enough! No, I keep job. There you go. Come on. I think they're there somewhere. There we go. 
Oof, eight hours. We've also got, uh, is that a walking cane? Magic Wand? I thought it was a walking cane. By Evil Wizard Apprentice, these are going to be super easy to get. I mean... I think I might have enough swords to get this done. Though, so, I mean... There you go. And then we got the money. Evil Wizard Carter? Yeah, Evil Wizard Carter. Carter likes money, right? But we gotta kill them five times. And these are the people that have a lot more health. So it's probably going to take a couple of tries just to get them down, so keep that in mind. Still nobody here? Well, I looked it up, and you just have to wait for them to pop up. I kind of figured so. Normally if you had to do with the quest line, it wouldn't be on the last week. If it's like the first week or so, yeah, probably. So in terms of the battling, there's Rogue Brian, Sorcerer Stewie, Druid Meg, and Paladin Joe. So there's four characters I can work with. Which is fantastic. Basically, as long as I use Druid Meg, I can use any other character. And I need the dice, and a Stewie, Peter, Chris, another Chris one, Brian, and then the Dark Swamp at the bottom, and what about Evil Wizard Carter? Rogue Brian. Wait, just Rogue Brian? Oh, you sons of guns. The problem is they have 24 health. 24 health. So that's a lot. If I just use Rogue Brian and I don't crit, it's going to take me five tries. Five tries to get down Evil Wizard Carter. That's insane. And I have to do it how many times? Let me just double check here. Oh, my goodness. I got to do it five times? Unless... How much money does it drop? Is it just one per? No, it's 15. It's 15 money. So I only have to do it once then. Yeah, I only have to do it once. What in the heck, man? I'm down with that. So I will see you uh, sometime next week with Holy Night Cleveland to wrap up the Dungeons and Dragons update. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you. I'll do that. Bye, everybody.